everyone, so I am back with a different type of video today. Um, I'm going to be unboxing this big chocolate revolution gift set. Um, yeah, but first, give my video a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. That would mean a lot. So yeah, let's unbox this. So it comes like this. Um, it's like huge. It's quite heavy as well. And this is how it looks once you've like removed that off. Um, this look will be um, this look will be up on my channel at some point. Um, I think this video will be up on Monday, so it might already be up now. But yeah, so first thing I'm gonna remove and get is the chocolate milk setting spray. Now I've seen other reviews on like the unboxing and apparently this smells amazing so I really wanna try it. Yeah, it definitely smells of like a chocolate milkshake. Spritz, I would definitely hold the spritz away from your face cause it's kind of like ruined my makeup there. But yeah, definitely spritz it away from your face. It smells really nice so I will play with it a bit more. I will be doing a tutorial using like a few of these. And then the next thing is the chocolate chocoholic palette, which looks like this. It's huge. Um, so this what it look this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just got a plastic sheet. It, this palette honestly looks stunning. This is kind of why I wanted it from seeing the other reviews, just because it has this palette. And I think it's got some really good shades. Yeah, we'll definitely have fun playing with this. I was thinking maybe like a purple eye and then we could do like a brown. So there's some really good like neutral and shim pops of colour and shimmers in there that we can definitely play with. And if you guys have seen my past videos, you know that I do test out quite a bit of Revolution and their issue is, is it always put loads of shimmers in and not enough mattes. Whereas this seems to be like quite a lot of mattes and quite a lot of shimmers, which is really good. So the next layer looks like this. It's just kind of in there. You can't really see much, but we'll unbox it. This is something I was really excited for. I'd seen a lot of people post looks on this and I really want to kind of recreate it. I don't have a lot of their chocolate palettes, if any. Um, I was never really drawn to them, but this is definitely a bit of me. So it's a strawberry meringue, a berry meringue, sorry, palette, which looks like this. So I'm really excited to do some looks with that, actually. I think that'll be a really fun one to do. And then I got three brushes, which I am excited to test and see if these are any good because I know Revolution has started doing some of their own brushes. They look really nice. So there's obviously like a packing brush, a blending brush and like an angled brush. And then there is another eyeshadow palette in ginger and orange. And I don't know whether this is a dupe for the pumpkin spice. That'll be interesting. Oh, it looks nothing like that actually, ignore me. But this is ginger and spice. I'm excited to do it. I will be doing looks on all of these. Um, maybe I'll do like a couple of looks, maybe three or four different looks, testing everything out. This is the Violet Crush palette, which looks really good. I love a purple look. I'm really excited. And then this is Champagne Truffle which looks really good, but I don't know whether that one's, this one is gonna be a bit too dark. Let's give it a swatch and see if we might be able to pull this off. See, I think I would be able to kind of get away with that. Um, I would be pushing it though. And then the other one looks like this. So this is the smaller one. 
and then that's the one that I don't know if I'll get away with but I am excited to try them both and then I have a hot chocolate contour I don't know whether these are going to be too dark for me I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away I might be able to get away with that one but that one's going to be a no-go um, I think I'd have to use that in my eyes or something instead to get good use out of it and then I also got two lip kits lip kits two um, lip products so I got this in a lip gloss in berry so I'll swatch this on the back of my hand yeah it's really just a clear lip gloss like you can't even see it's down there somewhere it's just a clear lip gloss nothing crazy and then I got the I Heart Revolution lip gloss in ginger and it's at the top there that looks really nice I think that'll be really nice because I love a brown nude um, so I think that would apply really nice on a like a brown nude um. so let's do some swatches of a few of the palettes So in the Chocolate Revolution set, that looks very black. So that's how they've applied, so to be honest, it looks like they're going to be really nice on the lid um, and they're going to apply really nice, I mean that black has came off really nice on a swatch. Ginger and Spice and do a few swatches. Going into Punch. Um, Rush, Candy Ginger, Zing and Snaps. Look at that, that's applied really nice, I mean them shimmers look stunning. And by the way I got this palette for £20 so I think it originally goes for £60 but I did get it for £20. That's the swatches, I will be doing a few looks. Um, I think I will do probably end up doing four looks testing out these palettes or four different looks for you guys to enjoy um, throughout next week but I hope you guys will subscribe comment and like